shop. Now let's check in with Kasia Badurka right now. Through the morning show, she's going to tell us how uh, you can get out there and go on an exciting journey. And you may want to with these temperatures, Nicole. It's funny, it was a little bit more mild as I stepped out earlier this morning during the 4 a.m. hour than it is now. Temperatures are actually falling progressively and into the afternoon we're going to be a few degrees cooler than we are in the morning. We don't usually see that, but that, of course, is thanks to this cold front that's bringing these flurries, right? Flurries will be tapering off. We've got temperatures right now sitting at about minus 7. We come to you, by the way, from the Toronto International Centre where the go, go RVing show is happening. We're going to be checking out 400 different uh, RV models and getting into the spirit of leaving, taking a trip. Maybe you want to take that RV down south, right, with these temperatures. Dress for wind chill values close to minus 15. Nicole? I'm planning our road trip already, Kasia. We certainly won't be making the next installment of Force of Nature with these flurries, but seeing a little bit of active weather in southern Ontario. I'm Kasia Badurka coming to you live from the Mississauga area, right around the Mississauga-Toronto border, not too far from the International Centre, where we're going to be checking out the RV show, thinking about getting away, taking a little bit of a mini vacay when it comes to these temperatures. Speaking of which, it is getting colder into the afternoon. Uh, earlier this morning, as I stepped out around 4 a.m., it was much more mild than it is now. This all thanks to this cold front, right? Temperatures are dropping. We're sitting at about minus 5. It feels closer to about minus 13. Getting colder into the afternoon. So my friends in southern Ontario, dress for temperature wind chill values between minus 15 and minus 20. Eek. All right, we're going to send you inside with more on your weather story. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Kasia. So Good morning and happy Friday. Kasia Badurka with you here. We'll be joined by Nicole Karkic as well as Chris Murphy uh, coming up in the studio. They'll be breaking down your weather story right across the country. But here in the city of Mississauga, we're close to Toronto, uh, we're looking at temperatures sitting at about minus 5 and it feels closer to minus 14 and it's getting colder into the afternoon. So folks, dress for temps feeling like the minus mid-teens to even the minus 20s. Now, I want to say this road trip, right? My life is a perpetual road trip. And today we're going live from the International Center where the RV show is going on. And I got to say, I love our weather network vehicle, but maybe we can find something way more luxurious or something, you know, we can camp out in a little bit better throughout the show. Over 400 models we're going to be checking out throughout the show. That's coming up at seven o'clock. But in the meantime, to you inside, good morning. Thanks, Kasia. I'm excited to see uh, the vehicle she's going to be looking at. I'm just already thinking about all those road trips I want to take. Hi, good morning and happy Friday. Getting into the spirit of the weekend, things you can do over the weekend, and things you can do to get away, get away from this cold if you don't like it, kind of like myself. Kasia Badurka with you here. We'll be joined by Nicole as well as Chris very shortly. Temperatures on the outside in the city of Toronto and Mississauga. It feels like minus 15, so dress for really cool temperatures throughout the day. We come to you from the International Centre where the RV show is going on all weekend long. There are shows like this going on throughout this season across the country, so we're talking to all of you. Here we are camping out, right? We've got Natalie Conway of the show. Why, why, why do we go RVing? Why RVing lifestyle? Well, you know, the RV lifestyle really gives families the freedom and flexibility to create their own adventure. Um, whether it's staying in one place at your favorite campground or even just a good old fashioned road trip, it gives you that time to reconnect with one another. Oh, I love that. That sounds like fun. What do you think of that, Nicole? Road trip to you inside. <laughs> I know. Where's the road trip going to be, Chris? Yeah. Hmm. Where would it be if you could go anywhere this weekend in an RV? If I could go anywhere this weekend? I would probably, uh, I don't, you know what, after seeing the, the journeys that Mike and Mark have done, yes. I think uh, go across the prairies and mm -hmm. see all the beautiful roadside attractions and temperatures are above seasonal too. That's true. It feels like minus 15 outside of the Toronto International Center here at the RV show, but on the inside, nice and cozy. Kasia Badurka with you here. I'm joined by Andy of Can-Am, who's been RVing his whole life. And we're talking to the national audience here. So, Andy, where's been your favorite spot to RV across the country? Uh, I would say probably Vancouver Island, uh, especially the Channel side. There's so much to see. There's a lot of neat things to do, but yeah. there's hundreds and thousands of places to, uh, sure. to travel. And especially that area, it's a little bit more mild, right? A little on the soggy side. Uh, but in terms of winter RVing, I mean, you have to get sp a specific RVs for that, yeah? Um, yes, uh, not every RV is suitable for winter use, but some are designed yeah. for it. And uh, skiers use them and 
that sort of thing. Excellent. And there's about 400 RVs to check out here. Meanwhile, bundle up if you are in southern Ontario. It's getting colder into the afternoon. With more on that, to you inside. Thanks, Kasia. Happy Friday. Good morning, my friends. My name is Kasia Badurka, and we come to you from the International Centre in Toronto. We're outside. It feels like minus 15, getting colder into the afternoon, so I'm happy to be coming to you from the confines of my new RV. I wish. This is the Airstream, the Eddie Bauer edition, and if I may say so, this place is fabulous looking. I love it. This is Andy of Can-Am. Andy's been RVing his whole life, and I love this weather angle here because you say this is one of your favourite things about RV. RVing and what is that? Well, it's the flexibility. If you're planning to go somewhere and geez, it turns out at the last minute they're going to have bad weather all week, you go somewhere else. You bring up your weather network app, find the uh, right place to go, and uh, head that way instead. Yeah, no, it's so true. You're not married to a particular place, so if you're going to a resort, you have to go there, whether it's good or bad weather. And now, do you have good or bad weather? To you inside, Nicole. Well, some of our viewers do, Kasha, some others don't. Hi, good morning, happy Friday, happy weekend. Do you want to just get away? I mean, it feels like minus 14 in the city of Toronto right now. Very similar conditions right across the board in southern Ontario. And I come to you from my new Airstream trailer. You know, Matthew McConaughey has one of these, so does Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. So I want to join all those fabulous people. I'm going to be joining here Natalie Conway. Um, it's not only the celebs that love these, that go RVing. It's really a growing trend across the country, isn't it? That's correct. Many people don't realize that more Canadians own RVs than they do cottages or even go skiing every year. Uh, to find the RV that's right for you, you can visit GoRVing.ca. Okay, excellent. And the International Centre here in Toronto, uh, the show is going on all weekend long, so you can check it out as well. And if I would be going RVing right now, I would head west where Alberta temperatures are nice and mild. With more on that, to you inside. That's right. Thanks so much, Kasia. Happy Friday. Who wants to go RVing? Well, I come to you from the creme de la creme of RVs. You're thinking, really? Looks like I'm coming to you from a luxury penthouse condo, which I'd love to live in personally. If you have an extra 500 Gs lying around, you could camp like this in style. We're joined by uh, Dwayne here. Dwayne, do people actually camp like this? They sure do. This yeah. is a great way to experience the outdoors. People love to get in a high-end motorhome like this new Winnebago Grand Tour or an entry-level Winnebago view. Head south, get out of this nasty weather, <laughs> spend some time. Head south, you got me at that. Speaking of which, it feels like minus 15 on the outside as you're stepping out in southern Ontario. All right, we're going to take off in this. Oh, by the way, the RV show is going on International Centre in Toronto all weekend long, so you can come visit this yourself live. Thanks, Kasia. So if you're going to be camping in something like that, that's called glamping, right? Beautiful. Road trip. Who wants to go on one, right? If you want to, and I'm sure you do because of these temperatures that we're seeing across the country. Uh, we're at the RV show at the International Centre Toronto, where the show is going on all weekend long, but several shows like this happening across the country this season to get you into the spirit of camping. So we're at our little mock campsite here with Natalie Conway of the show. Why go RVing? You know, the RV lifestyle really gives you the opportunity to create your own adventure, whether it's staying in one place at your favorite campground or even just a good old-fashioned road trip. It really gives you uh, families time to reconnect with one another, and it's a great bonding experience. I love that, and it's a great way to get away from uh, these temperatures at this time, right? You want to go south? We've got temperatures feeling like the minus mid-teens to even minus 20 in southern Ontario this afternoon. Ouch. Okay, back to you inside. It is a little painful. You're right, Cash. It's a good thing that gas prices are low right now for those RVs, too, right? Let's hope that trend continues. All right, just to give you an idea of how strong the winds are, you can see these flags up here. They're just really ripping away right now. Minus 18, minus 19. That's what we're dealing with here in the city of Sault Ste. Marie. Well, it's a wet and slushy morning out here in Halifax. Not all the reporters had to be outside. Here's Kasia Badurka's assignment. It feels like minus 15 outside at the Toronto International Centre here at the RV show, but on the inside, nice and cozy. Meanwhile, a family in Michigan got a big surprise when they found the skeleton of a bullfighter, Nicole, a matador. It's a mastodon, Chris. Oh. Watch the morning show Monday at 5.30 a.m. Eastern.